Welcome back to Coach's Corner. It's your boy Aaron here. Today I'm with Coach Flowmaster, and we're talking about how kickboxing and Muay Thai moves are applicable in street self-defense. People ask me all the time, what martial art should I do in order to defend myself? I always say, pick a martial art that has some sort of competition or sport attached to it, so you know the moves are effective and they really work. Kickboxing and Muay Thai are tried and true. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about four different situations and four different ranges where you can work different moves, different kickboxing moves in order to defend yourself on the street. One disclaimer, the best form of self-defense is avoiding the situation entirely. That means you have to have some awareness when there's a sketchy situation, avoid it, and always look over your shoulder, know who's behind you. But when you can avoid it, Sometimes you just gotta whip that ass. So let's start by talking about self-defense when you're at a long range, a kicking range. Let's go. If I'm in a sketchy situation, I want my opponent even further in arms with the way. I don't want him even this close to me, all right? So from this range, I can use my front kicks to keep him away. Okay, you got the rear leg front kick. You got the lead leg front kick and you want to really snap it with the ball of your foot. Now you can throw these front kicks to the groin, okay? You can throw it to the legs. If you're flexible, you can throw it to the face, or you can throw it to the solar plexus, to the body. If you're a trained martial artist, and mind you, you're not gonna be able to throw a good front kick if you haven't had some martial arts experience. But if you're trained, you can also work side kicks here. Spinning back kicks. All of these are long range techniques. You throw a couple of those kicks to the groin of the solar plexus, forget about it. For this next one, we're gonna to go to medium range. So now my opponent is gonna be about arm's width away from me. So now I can't throw front kicks anymore. He's too close. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use open hand slaps. You can throw it to the ear. This will bust the eardrum. You can throw it to the face. You can use your fingers to eye gouge. Okay, you have to make sure that your fingers are engaged nice and tight. Okay, so you want to use open hands because on the street, if you make a fist and you punch, a lot of times we break our hands. There's so many small brittle bones in the hands, it's not realistic to box. You're better off with open hands. I've learned this from experience. So you use your open hands to the ears, you can use your fingers to the eyes, you can tiger claw if you have nails, but keep your hands open at this range. The other thing is if you have some experience from this range, you can work your round kicks. Okay, the low kick's great. You're driving that shin into his leg. You can go inside, you can go to the body, you can go to the head, and so on. So at a medium range, keep your hands open, slap, eye gouge, scratch, and low kicks if you know how. Now let's talk about what it would look like if they were even closer to that, okay? So now I'm in a tight situation. From here, I'm gonna use my elbows. Bam. Because the elbows are durable, it's Can we beat that up? <laughs> From here, we're gonna use elbows. Ah, because the elbows are durable as And they're gonna slice your opponent open right away. All it takes is one good elbow. You can throw it up, you can throw it to the side, you can throw it down, you can tomahawk. All right? If he's this close to me, is getting real. The other thing I can do is I can clinch him up. Now, if I can clinch and I control the head, I control the body. You always want to be inside, elbows here, and then I can knee, boom. I can move him, boom. I can work my knees, boom. If you have a good clinch, you control the fight. But you need your elbows in, pulling his head down with a nice wide base like a sumo wrestler. And I'm turning, boom, and knee. Last but not least, let's talk about what happens if somebody's walking behind you. Always looking over your shoulder, boom. You've got your back kick here, boom. You want to drive the heel into him. Boom. If he gets a little bit closer, elbows. 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 And the best form of self-defense, run. All right, so now let's do a little role playing. Flows into that, you sick freak. I can see it in your eye. He's going to come at me with a plastic fork, and I'm just going to play the scenario and see what I can pull off, all right? You ready? What you, man, you messed with my girlfriend, man. I saw you, you messed with my girlfriend, didn't you? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. That's when you run. Peace! So 
So there you have it. Those are four different scenarios and ranges where you can use kickboxing and Muay Thai to defend yourself. Now, I just want to say this one more time. We're not encouraging you to go out and get in street fights because nothing ever good comes from it. This is the absolute worst case scenario when you have no other choice. So thank you, Flo, for letting me kick your butt today. <laughs> and uh, until next time, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you guys want to learn other sorts of martial arts, you have something in mind, leave it in the comments below and we'll put a video out for you. Thank you for letting me corner you today. Us. <laughs>